Tom, I'm back at White House Machine Tools today and we're looking at the Belia. Really, the Belia is back. Yes, uh, pleasure to have you back, Paul. Uh, exciting times for us. 20 years we've been dealing with Belia and uh, recently we did have a spell where they had a different sales strategy and unfortunately we weren't selling the machine for them. But uh, they've decided that it's best back with us, so uh, yeah, we're off the ground with a flying start with a few sales in the bag. Well, that's good news. And this machine we're going to look at today is the B465. You could class it as a production machine, but it's a, well, you tell me. Yeah, this is the latest uh, generation of Quattro machine. In particular, this has a three turret, three Y axis with double spindles. So it's a bar machine, effectively producing uh, finished parts complete. I noticed a statement by looking at the brochure that said this machine was about higher productivity and it actually said, you know, potentially 50% improvements in cycle times. How, how does the machine go about doing that? Well, I think having the three turrets, you can have three tools cutting simultaneously. So you're, you're doing more operations at the same time. So compared with either a single turret or even twin turret machines, you're going to be producing parts much quicker. On that point, let's have a look at a couple of parts. I know you've got two up there. Yeah, these are typical component parts that we're producing from bar. It's a multifunction, normally done on lathes and machining centers. This particular component part has a thread which is cut by circular interpolation using the y-axis. So got flats, uh, milled flats, uh, and some very accurate turning. So basically, this, this as an example, everything on there is, can be done in one hit. Yes, of course. Yeah. Bar goes in one end and the finished parts comes out on a conveyor on the other. OK, let's have a look at the second part that you've got there. Again, a typical connector part for the aerospace. And you can see, you know, we have a square flange there with holes and some notches. So again, can do, done complete. I'm interested also, Tom, in the fact that you've got three turrets here. Have you got a Y-axis on every turret? Yeah, the machine that we have here has got three Y-axis. It is possible to have Y-axis either on one or two or as through all three turrets. And I suppose that's why it's got Y3 in the exactly. model. Exactly, yeah. you've got it right. What about the tool stations? How many tools can the machine hold? And what's the benefit of having more tools? Well, each turret has 12 stations, so we can carry up to 36 power heads. Some of the uh, turning tool holders and boring bar holders can be double holders because of the y-axis. And uh, in some of the setups, we've had more than 50 tools in operation. That's impressive. And what about the spindle bore diameters, so the, type, the bar diameter on this machine? Because I noted by looking at the brochure, if you have a bigger or smaller bar diameter, the footprint of the machine doesn't change. No, the, the design, it's a modular design machine, so we have uh, a single uh, frame that suits all different models, twin turret and three turret. Uh, we can have two different main spindles, the smaller one being 51 millimeter bar capacity, has an RPM of 5,000, and then we have a 70 millimeter bar capacity, which is 4,000 RPM. And the space inside this machine, it's quite evident that a lot of attention to detail has been laid upon making it, or it looks like you've got quite a big capacity turning diameter and turning length. Yeah, it, the design, it's a very robust machine. It's got a heavy duty casting, 30 degree slant bed, and it's, it's been designed for hard turning applications as well as more conventional uh, commercial type work. Well that would lead me on to the precision and what you can achieve with the machine. We've, we've spoken about the complexity of the parts and how much more productive you can be, but how does it go about achieving the tolerances that manufacturers might be chasing? Yeah, well Belia have been manufacturing this style of machine for 20 years. This is their third generation. They now manufacture all their own component parts to a very high precision on the very latest machines. So, you know, we are looking at, uh, you know, machining component parts to a few microns. And, and you would prove components before the machine goes out, because I'm assuming a lot of the sales of these machines would be turnkeys, would that be correct? Yes, many instances. This particular machine is going to a company in the south of England. 
we'll be programming a number of component parts as a turnkey. Typically, we only get the very demanding parts and uh, people want it proved. And a lot of our viewing audience are subcontractors. Is this a subcontractor's machine? Oh yes, it's going to a subcontractor. You know, he's not making uh, large batches, but uh, the reason he wants the three turrets is to be able to put as many of his tools, which he will keep in place in those turrets, and that just helps him minimise setups. So basically, he doesn't have to be spending his time changing tools. No. He, the whole time, the machine is cutting material, which is key. Exactly, exactly. Brilliant. Thanks, Tom. Okay. Thank you, Paul.